Hello, boss babes and bosses out there. So in this video, as what I have promised, it's the last video natin ito, na I'm gonna create a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can maximize Hootsuite's scheduling tool. If you want to learn how to do that, just keep on watching. You're seeing my screen right now and nasa Hootsuite tayo. If you have an account already, just click login and log in niyo yung account niyo. Pero kung wala pa, click niyo lang tong sign up, fill out ko siya, tapos ipalalagay yung details niyo for the payment. So again, this is 30 day free trial ha. So after 30 days, mabibil na kayo. Don't forget to go sa calendar niyo and iset niyo at least 29 days na nagamit na kayo sa Hootsuite. I-remind kayo na stop niyo na yung subscription niyo para hindi kayo mabil sa card niyo or sa PayPal niyo. Especially if you are just trying this out, if gusto niyo ba or gusto nagustuhan ba ng client niyo, if you just want to see the parang UI ng Hootsuite, titingnan niyo lang if meron ba silang mga features na mga need niyo for your business. Ito ang gagawin natin, let's just say, sa annual tayo. Tapos I will not use my credit card pero pwede yung credit card yung ilagay niya dito and I think pwede din yung debit card and then for me I will just use PayPal my PayPal account after this one ito nakalagay today's total hindi pa kayo mabibil if you are going to click the uh, start free trial for after 30 days magsa-start na yung billing so click lang yung uh, start my free trial and then ito yung sabi diba ipapalag in daw ako so, agree and continue lang natin. And then, meron silang pas pasasagutan na four questions. Which of the following best describes your role? So, ang ilagay lang natin dito, um, freelancer. Sa inyo ha, kung ano yung mas ma-fall kayo dito na category. But I will just say here, I'm a freelancer. Um, let's just say, I'm just checking out Hootsuite. So, in this part, we are going to add three profiles. Pero, sa ano natin, ang i-add ko lang is yung Pinterest. Nag-log in ako as give access. Click niyo itong give access. Ang login ko is hindi yung manually tinatype yung email address. Nag-log in ako through my Gmail account. So, kaya automatic siya nag-log in. So, just click give access and then take ownership. Kasi nakalagay na ito doon sa kabila ko na ako. So, ito. Take ownership. Andito na siya. Oh, we really have to add. Oh my God. I think I cannot add three accounts. Pero ganun yung pag-add. You just have to click it. And tapos, ia-ask ka na mag-log in ka or put your username and password. Tapos yun, okay na siya. But, I'm not going to add more. Kasi, ito, naka connect ko siya, and ito, nakakonect ko siya sa creator studio namin. This one, and this one, nakakonect siya sa isang Hootsuite ko, kaya ipapakita ko sa inyo yun. And then, and this one, I don't want to connect it sa Hootsuite. So, yeah. Ito na lang yung sample natin on how to connect the social media accounts. So, kasi the same lang din yung process. Ito yung sabi ko sa inyo na nakakonek na. So, if I'm going to connect it sa isang account na ginawa ko, yung bago na ginawa ko, ngayon lang. Pag kinonek ko yun siya, tapos i-click ko yung take ownership, matatanggal to. Lahat ng mga nakaschedule dito mawawala. So, we don't want that to happen. So, yeah. Ipapakita ko na lang itong sa amin talaga na account. First, ito yung dashboard natin. Tapos, dito, this is where you can upgrade your plan. So, ito yung current plan natin. Actually, naka-premium ako nito. Ang ginagamit namin is professional. So, only one user. Ang ginagawa ko, binibigyan ko na lang ng plugin details ang team ko para maka-access siya nito and maka-schedule siya ng mga posts namin. Ito yung mga features niya. 10 social accounts, unlimited posts, maa-access na yung mga messages um, in one inbox. So, if you are not planning to parang upgrade it or magbabayad kayo, you can have this parang free plan. Please message us kung gusto nyong i-grab yung spreadsheet na to. Ito yung mga free plans ng mga content scheduling tools. At mga free plan to ha, meaning hindi kayo need magbayad. And then, yung box of numbers mga social media profiles, posts, available ba ang insights, pwede bang mag-manage ng comment, sa desktop lang ba siya, or pwede kang mag-download ng app, and then other unique features. So, ayan, if you want this, just message us. Ito yung sa Hootsuite for the free plan. 
fit siya for the business namin right now. But maybe if we are going to scale up more and change our marketing plans again, maybe we are also going to look for another scheduling tools na naman for our business. But for now, this is the one that we are using. And then dito, ito na button. Pwede kayong mag-create ng post dito or pin or Instagram story. So, yung always talaga na ginagamit is this post. Para mamaya na tayo magpo-post kasi I will tour you muna kung ano yung whole dashboard. So, this one is the stream. So, pwede dito makita lahat. Timeline ng boss at PH, yung post, yung may mga nag-mention. Pwede din mag-add ng streams like for example, Twitter. Lagay natin yung home ng Twitter. So, lalabas dito. Ito yung makikita sa home ko. Uh, let's say, LinkedIn. Gusto ko yung mga updates. Ayun. Tapos, meron tayong schedule post for LinkedIn. Let's also put that on our stream. Oh, wala pala. I'm so sorry. Wala palang schedule post. Kasi yung scheduled natin, hindi sa main account ko, nasa page. This one, I guess. Please, Lord, sana tama. Ayun, o, oh, see? Mayroon na schedule. Okay. So, ayun. Let's just delete this one. So, ayun. Pwede kang maglagay ng kung ano dito sa as long as na-connect siya. So, ayun. So, that's the purpose. Parang in just one screen lang, you can see na all the things that you want to see. And this is really customizable. If you don't want this, if you don't want this, you can just click this three dots here at the top and then delete stream. So, ayan. Pwede din super specific like for this one. This is for the boss of PH. And then this is for the page. Since this one is for Facebook, we will not add here mga LinkedIn. Kasi naka-ano talaga siya for Facebook. But anyway, I'm just um, teaching you how to add mga streams. So, this one for Twitter. Meron tayong tweets here. These are my home. Um, mentions, likes, schedule. So, this one also is LinkedIn stream. So, ang nakalagay lang sa LinkedIn ko is this one. This is LinkedIn personal. So, we can also add here more. But, yeah, basically, yan lang yung pag-add ng mga streams sa each boards mo. You can also add new board if you like and then just select this one and then put all of the social networks that you have and then next 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 and then add to dashboard and then it will populate here so ito lahat yung content mo and then here ito na yung publisher under sa publisher meron tayong planner at saka meron tayong content so ang planner ito siya ikita natin dito yung mga naka-plan so, ito yung mga mapapublish. And then, pwede din natin siyang i-ano for per month. Pwede din natin i-ano na for, let's just say, for boss of PH lang na LinkedIn. Mayroon tayong na-publish today. Itong mga may green na check, meaning niya na-publish na siya. So, ito yung icon na parang calendar icon, meaning schedule, mapapublish pa yan siya. So, ang next publish natin is for 16 and 18. Pwede din lahat. Ganun. Tapos, apply. So, makikita dito na meron, for today, we have 7 published, 7 scheduled, 1 scheduled, 1 scheduled. That's that. And then, sa content naman, click nyo yung content. Dito makikita yung mga nakadraft. Dito makikita yung mga nakascheduled. Calendar view, and then sa content here, and then you'll go to schedule. Meron din day, and then meron din week, and then month. So, ayun. Tapos, pwede natin ilagay lahat ng social media para makita natin lahat. Yung makikita dito, since scheduled lang, ito na lang yung mga natitira na hindi pa na-publish. So, for today, mayroon pa tayong isang mapapublish, 11.40 p.m. And then, ito yung mga past scheduled. So, mga past scheduled natin. Bale, na-publish na to siya. And then, this one also requires approval, which is wala na. Kasi, ang flow namin is that i-approve ko muna bago niya isa-schedule. Part approvals, reject the gula din. And then here naman, dito makikita lahat ng inbox. Dito sa inbox, hindi lang to kung sino yung mga nag-DM or mga nag-PPM. Comments are also included kung marang magpa-comment, mapapasok dun dito sa inbox. And then, this one sa advertise. Dito pag mayroon kong ibuboost, dito mo makikita. But I will not tackle that sa video na to because this part is over the advanced. Kung gusto mong mag-ads for Facebook and sa LinkedIn. So, 
ito yung analytics part. I liked here. Pero I'm so sorry if hindi maganda yung analytics natin ngayon. But this is the real thing. Facebook, Twitter. Dito yung Facebook na line. Dito yung Twitter na line. Dito yung Instagram. I did not connect my Instagram here. So, the question now is how to export it. So, click nyo lang to. And then, click the PDF form. I like the PDF form na ibigay kay client compared sa PowerPoint. Pero if need niya ma-edit, download it as PowerPoint. But for me, when I'm sending my report sa client, PDF yung sinasend ko. And take note ha, yung ilalagay niyo dito na date is kung ano talaga yung gusto niyong ibigay na report kay client. So for example, gusto niya ng report sa whole January. So you can click that and then set. And then, mag-iiba yung details. Let's try ha, let's try. Let's see. Export natin tong whole Crunching the numbers, please wait. And then while waiting, there are also other reports here. Like this one. It's all reports. Ito naman yung mga super basic na need talaga ng clients. Yung brand awareness, yung audience growth. Again, you can also download this one, ha? Like for example, audience growth for this one. We can also export it as PDF or PowerPoint. And then post engagement rates. You can send all of this to the clients. But always make sure that when you create mga analytics, ha? Always put na parang ano yung reading yung sa analytics. Ano yung insights nyo from the analytics na binigay na Hootsuite sa baba ng PDF or sa email nyo, ilagay nyo kung ano yung best next strategy na gagawin nyo next time based on the analytics, yung mga ganun. So, this is also the inbound engagements, the links, and then ito yung dinownload natin kanina, the mixed overview. And then this one, this is where you can integrate other products as well. Spark Central and the mobile app. So, you can also download the mobile app of Hootsuite. So, I also have this one on my phone as well to check the content if na publish ba lahat, all good ba. So, yeah. And then this one, if you need help with, there are a lot of resources here that you can check out. And then, ito yung profile mo. So, ang gusto kong ituro next is how to create a post. So, very easy lang. Pwede yung Instagram story, pin, and post. Pwede rin mag-create ng um, legacy composer. But I actually really don't know how to use this one or para saan to, to be honest. Ito lang yung always na ginagamit talaga namin itong post. So, let's say ha, sa, sa Twitter ko na lang siya ilagay kasi wala masyadong anong doon sa akin. Tapos, fast pacing kasi yung Twitter. So, madali siyang mawala. So, okay lang kung kahit ano yung post natin. Like, let's say, I like ice cream. Kasi I'm eating ice cream right now. <laughs> so, lagyan natin na icon. Ito. And then, kung meron kong ice cream na ano, pwede nyo i-drag dito directly or you can click this one. Tapos, pwede kang mag-select ng image from here. I will not do that. Pure text lang tayo. Pwede rin maglagay ng Twitter location if you want, but I will not do it. But here, you can type here your address. Like, let's say, ito, City of Vigos, and then add. I don't like to add that. Sample lang. So, I'll just cancel it. If gusto mo siyang i-post agad, just click post here. But you can also click schedule if gusto mo siyang ma-schedule. Today, tapos gusto kong mag-manually set ng time. And then, the post must be 5 minutes daw in the future. So, of course, it's already 11.01. So, let's post it. 11.30. And then, done. So, na-change na dito. So, mapopost ko mamaya. And then, click schedule. Mayroon ding line dito if you want to put it as a draft or you can schedule and reuse account or schedule and duplicate. But for me, I will just click schedule. But wait, I want you to see this na pwede kang mag multiple accounts here. So, pwede kong i-click then sa LinkedIn, Facebook, and boss of PH na page. And then, once I schedule it, so by 11.30pm, mapopost yan sa lahat ng accounts. Kung ganyan yung gagawin ko. Kung isa-select ko ang lahat ng accounts. So, pwede siyang multiple. So, this content here, mapopost siya sa lahat ng mga sinelect ko. But if I'm going to delete this one, delete this one, personal LinkedIn ko at sa Twitter ko lang siya mapopost. Kasi ito yung naka- click here. Nag-guess nyo ba yun? Lagay lang natin ng Twitter and then schedule. So, ayun. Um, let's try naman Instagram. Actually, hindi kasi naka-connect yung Instagram ko dito. But basically, just very the same talaga. Since wala akong Instagram dito na connected, wala tayong mapipick na account. Pretty the same. You can upload the media here. Lagay nyo lang yung text dito. And then, 
schedule for later or post now so if you want to schedule the instagram story for later just click this one and then just really the same sa kung process na ginawa natin kanina for pin naman like for this one hindi din nakakonect yung um, pinterest ko dito pretty the same pwede kang maglagay dito ng url if you have a blog post so that when the pin is posted when they click the image mapupunta sila sa blog URL mo. Then again, when it comes to Pinterest, I really prefer Tailwind, not Hootsuite. That's that. I think I've already covered yung mga basics. Hopefully, if you have further questions pa, comment down below. By the way, guys, again, don't forget to message us para ang dami kasi, guys, ng mga scheduling tools, hindi lang Hootsuite. And then, like, the same lang yung most of them, yung mga features nila, yung mga basic features. So, I would really encourage you to message us so that you can download this one para makita nyo kung ano talaga yung mas fitted sa inyo na scheduling tool. You can download this one and pick here kung ano yung mga free plan. Ito kasi yung free plan lang. Yung makukuha nyo kung hindi kayo magbabayad monthly or yearly. So, yeah. I hope this is helpful. So, I hope that these step-by-step -step videos really helps you in familiarizing the dashboard and how to navigate the Hootsuite like a pro. So, sana hindi na kayo magdadalawang isip to use Hootsuite or any platforms na mga scheduling tools kasi the same, the same lang talaga siya. Ang magkaiba lang nila is yung UI. At least by sharing you this, hindi na kayo masyadong ma-intimidate when it comes to content creation, scheduling content for your clients and the likes. Or maybe, hindi lang sa client nyo. Maybe your own content as well. So, yeah. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below. Comment nyo na din kung ano yung mga gusto nyo pang content na makita next time. So, before I'm going to end this video, I would like to flex the works of my boss waves and bosses and semi group. Check this out! like to join our Facebook group, just research I'm ready to boss up by Briksui and don't forget to like our Facebook page at bossaph and follow us on our Instagram accounts at Briksui and at bossaph. So yeah, hope to see you guys on my next one. Bye!